Now I know here in Effingham the budgets are probably honed at the local level and there's no room to cut. But let's take a look at, at a very conservative stronghold up in Palatine, Illinois, because my team has filed a Freedom of Information Act request on the village manager's contract in the traditionally Republican area of Palatine. And this is what we found. Base salary of $184,000 a year and an annual bonus of $35,000. And then I knew, learned a new word, perquisites. <laughs> perquisites. And I found out the meaning of it by looking at the contract. It means country club membership, health care membership. It means fully paid health insurance, prescription insurance, and dental. It means fully paid short and long-term disability insurance, fully paid short and long-term care insurance, a luxury car for $10,000 a year, fully funded gold-plated pensions that we all read about in the papers, and something more. A deferred compensation plan additional to the pension plan for his retirement, funded by the village to the tune of an additional $11,000 a year. And then we added it up and it's $351,000 of annual compensation. And if he leaves, he gets a full year of base salary severance. At the local, the county, and the state level, the public sector is killing and destroying private sector jobs. I know what that means. I lived it like many of you live it. My brother and I, in 1997, we started a company from scratch from our apartments. And we grew that company over a 10-year period to $20 million of sales, and we employed hundreds of people. But this is the story. In the third year, we ran out of money, we bounced a check, and we nearly lost our company. And but for another dime's worth of taxes, regulations, and fees, we were gone. When they hike our taxes, when they put walls and hurdles and increase the cost of doing business, it knocks out young entrepreneurs with good ideas and it knocks them out early. Job growth in Illinois is at the margins and the public sector in this state is literally cannibalizing the private sector. And I agree with